Normal Community wins the girls Big 12 track title in Danville, but not much else happening on the local sports scene because of the nasty weather, and it seemingly has been that way all spring. Athletes have put up with rain, wind, cold temperatures as they've tried to compete. And think about this. This week, track athletes are competing in the cold. Next week, when the girls track athletes try to qualify for state at sectionals, it could be 80 or 90 degrees. Well, that's Illinois weather. You know, you never know what you're going to get. And this week we have 50 and rainy, and next week we're going to be 90 and sunny. So we just have to give, take what it gives us. I mean, obviously, we are used to running in the colder weather, so it's going to be a big adjustment running in the 80 degree weather. The main thing is just like warm up changes, just making sure that you don't do too much to wear yourself out. But other than that, it's pretty much the same race strategies as always. Would you rather run in the heat or in the cold? Probably the heat, yeah. Girls track sectionals are scheduled for Wednesday and Thursday of next week. One of the athletes hoping for a big performance at sectionals, Tremont's Cambria Guy, a sprinter and hurdler who has her eyes set on multiple bids in the state track meet in two weeks. This year I'm trying to qualify in three events, and that's the 100 hurdles and 300 hurdles and 200. So I, was, I wanted to try 400, but it might be too much this year. So next year I'm going to try to get in good shape to do that too. I 100% believe it's just all mental, unless you're like really hurt, but really it's just, yeah, I've learned that it's more mental. Geyer knows all about those mental challenges. Last week she suffered a tough fall in a meet at Eureka. She says that's the first time that's ever happened to her, but she's learned from it. I don't know what was going on that day, but it just wasn't my best race. And I already knew it was going to be a really bad race at the start. I've learned from it. I've learned to eat better because I also did not eat that good that day. And also, I wasn't like, I was being hard on myself and everything. So today I came in here with a positive mind. The rain's not stopping the kicking out cancer soccer games. This is Limestone against East Peoria. The players in their special shirts and Limestone's Bella Sims shoots it in. That wet ball slips through the hands of the keeper for a goal. Rockets on the attack here. Kennedy Barber crosses it to Alicia Jones Doherty finding the back of the net. She had two goals today in a 4 0 Limestone win over EP. Metamora squaring off against Peoria Christian in the kick out cancer event. Redbirds with a hot start. Emmy Graff with a Great pass to Maddie Morris. She's got an opportunity to score, and she cashes in with a nice shot. Taylor Hahn with a great a bit of speed here. She'll shoot from distance and find the back of the net for the Redbirds. This gives her team a 2-0 lead. Metamora and Hahn not finished yet. She's going to get a good look and score once again. The Redbirds are shutout winners in that rain. 4-0 over Peoria Christian. The pitch for tennis invitational moved indoors today. Top seeded Grant Kruzma of Dunlap cruised. He's in the near court. Terrific drop shot here as he comes to the net and just plops that one over. He won twice to advance to tomorrow's matches. And in another match, Metamore's Alexander Schroff in the far court with a nice volley here. He'll come to the net and put this one away. Part of a straight sets win. They'll finish that tournament outside at Metamore with better weather.